We have seen some truly powerful products from Obsbot recently. They have, in my opinion, set a new performance expectation for auto-tracking webcams, but it seems like it doesn't stop there. The functionality available to the market expands with the release of the talent, which I plan to explain in this video. In the past, I've shown you how you're able to create and broadcast a pretty detailed multicam stream using the Tail Air series of wireless cameras and the mobile app. You can do this wirelessly through Wi-Fi or even through cell phone data if the signal and bandwidth is actually there for you. It's very good in many situations, but the Talent is a portable system that offers even more flexibility and pro-level features to bring your production to the next level. To be clear, I feel the Talent in many ways could actually replace your PC-based OBS streaming system. A very bold statement for sure. I don't think it'll ever actually fully replace mine, but there are many new opportunities that become viable with the Talent. The Talent puts your encoder, switcher, monitor, and controller into a single portable device. Perfect for a multi-camera stream from a trade show floor, a wedding live streamed for those who are unable to make it, live streaming your gaming content from an eSport event. The device sounds like science fiction, but the claims are quite real, and I've found even more ways to use it since having it. It promises multiple HDMI capture sources, multiple USB webcam sources, audio through HDMI, Bluetooth, and mic jack, and then, in case that wasn't enough, I was able to further connect three NDI tail air sources wirelessly. The talent is limited to a 1080 at 60 input and output on HDMI, NDI, and USB ports, and that's done to ensure a clean stream without any drops, and I feel that that limitation is perfectly reasonable considering its $1,000 price point and its super portability. You're not limited to streaming and switching between single sources at a time because just like in OBS, you may embed sources over others to create the scene that's needed for the moment. I'm going to physically talk you through the device as it'll help explain some of its capabilities. You have an all metal frame with a 5 inch bright touch screen. There is an aluminum sunshield that can be attached for use in very bright environments. The screen will automatically rotate perspective just like your cell phone depending on how you hold it and the system is ready to output for landscape or portrait and of course ready for all major streaming platforms. At the rear, two covers protect two slots for an MPF style camera battery. These covers also double as a kickstand. The two slots allow you to hot swap battery packs. You would be able to change them out one at a time without shutting down and without interruption. If you have three or more batteries, you could have one charging while the other two are operating. The system will warn you of a dying battery through a LED that changes from green to orange to red, and those LEDs are next to each battery. These NPF batteries are very common in the photography space and depending on the capacity that you install, you can keep things very light and compact with good runtime or opt like I did for a larger capacity and an extended runtime. At the rear, you also have two battery release catches and there's a fan heat sink for cooling the system. Along the bottom is a full-size ethernet port for wired connectivity. There's a mounting thread for mounting to a cage or a stand and that would let you mount it like many of us use for an Atmos Ninja allowing preview and recording, but also streaming. There's a full-size SD card and that lets you record a backup, providing that the card is the right size, speed and capability. There's a USB type C port, which is said to be your external monitor feed. And there's a wired power brick if you don't want to use batteries. On the right side, there's an audio input, headphone output, and a super speed USB port to connect your cameras or a thumb drive. There's a reset button and a main power switch. There's a second super speed USB port and a pair of full size HDMI inputs. So with all of that, let me quickly paint for you a simple use case scenario. With HDMI 1, you can capture your computer screen. And with USB 1, you can connect an OBSBOT camera, maybe to face you and your broadcast is live with this most basic setup. You're able to mix the audio sources and even add music. You're able to create and use a set of scenes such as start, break time, gameplay, and an end screen. The talent blends audio sources, video sources, and overlays in such a manner to allow the creator the type of stream that you would normally only get possible from a PC with OBS and capture cards. As I got more familiar with it and tested adding more and more sources, I became even more concerned that I wouldn't actually be able to explain or have a very hard time expressing to you the viewer just how versatile this device really is. It's evident that many people worked not only to make the hardware work but the menu and connectivity because even without 
without reading any manuals or guides, I was actually able to quickly set it up and get it running. The setup menus guide you through the connectivity to the network, and then it immediately guides you to logging into your account. And I don't mean for this video to turn into a one hour long guide, so I'm simply going to say that when I plug in a source into a port, the system is able to detect and configure for what that source is and what it sees. The source settings are ready to be used, but you can edit and adjust through on-screen menus. So when I plugged an Obswat camera into the port, it auto-populated, properly configured, and it was ready to be used, including all of the features that would allow me to manually aim it and even change some video settings. When I selected NDI and asked it to search, all three of the tail air cameras showed up without any drama because they were already configured on the same Wi-Fi network. I was not expecting that level of plug and play. The takeaway here for me is a lot of effort's been made so that you, the user, the creator, won't need to to spend days and days researching IP addresses, configuring subnets, or forwarding ports on your router. You probably will not need to hire extra staff to pull off more complex streams or in more complex locations. If you understand the basics of how to set up a stream using a PC and OBS, most of the settings and menus in the Obspot talent will make sense to you. If you have a very basic understanding, the talent is very easy to be very effective with. This channel is known for its brevity and there are many opportunities in the future to provide setup guides, configuration guides and demonstrate use cases, but I will provide a couple here. So my friend Kyle has been documenting the build of his drift car. If he had a talent, he could connect two of his Canon cameras through HDMI and use a lapel mic, and that would allow him to easily set up and tear down to record his progress to an SD card. Second case might be my friend Jordan is getting married in the spring. The talent wirelessly connects to three tail airs with NDI. He has a Bluetooth mic at the altar, and then there's ambient audio from the wireless cameras. And that would allow me to stream his entire wedding and reception for those who can't be in attendance. The SD card in this case would provide a high quality recording that could be edited later into content after the ceremony. And possibly a third example might be that my friend Pete and I like to race each other on the motion systems in the studio. The talent would be wired to each game screen and wired connected to a pair of Obspot webcams facing us and wirelessly connected to a pair of lapel mics. And that would allow me to live stream all of the action with a very simple setup and teardown. You could have cooking streams, yoga streams, and all of it would fit in a backpack. It's really powerful and could in most cases replace a dedicated streaming PC. In the future, I have a couple of real situations that I plan to use the talent for. Situations where I might have normally brought a PC with several capture cards to, which I now know I can cover to a very high standard with nothing more than what would fit in a backpack and a couple tripods. So in closing, I feel like I've scratched just the surface of what is possible with the talent. I never try to insult my viewers' intelligence, but I would love to answer any questions you have. So comment your comments in the comments or click the link for Discord to get a more in-depth answer. My goal is to grow and I cannot do that without you. Thank you for spending your time with me. Please let me know if there's a large demand for a deeper dive into this Obspot talent capture safely.